friends welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you guys how can you do your uh, merge uh, plus how can you do your append in your power query right uh, first things first I wanted to show you guys what I mean by merge especially if you're new uh, so uh, merge is just none other than join right uh, so what's gonna happen is uh, if you merge two different data sets or two different tables what's gonna happen is you are just adding your columns to the output record set right let's take a look into this example here so in the first input here you have uh, 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 two columns and the second input here has another two columns right object ID land use code and there's land use code and the land use type right so you are joining you need to join based on a common uh, you know you know common column right so you're using joining using this common column Right. Once you join that, you're gonna ha you're gonna add extra columns to your output data set. Look at this one at the bottom. So you have your object ID, you have your land use code, and then you also have your land use code from the right hand side table, right? This one can always be. Uh, you don't need this. It's gonna be the same anyway since you're joining it. Uh, it's gonna be the same. You also have your land use type from your uh, right hand side table, right? So this is basically join what join is basically doing is adding extra columns right now let's take a look into the append or union right in the union's case what's exactly happening is uh, it's going to uh, you know append the number of rows you're going to add extra rows instead of adding columns the columns are going to stay same right uh, you need to make sure the columns have the same consistency the data should be consistent uh, within the both data sets right both uh, there is data set 1 data set 2 you see the uh, names I mean the columns are consistent right so and then when you append it you just st stacking one on top of the other right uh, or in other words you're just adding rows in union compared to uh, adding columns in terms of in case of the join right so hope that makes sense uh, now I'm going to show you guys in power query how can you do your uh, join uh, or merge first and then let's take a look into the append right first things first let's get the data I'm gonna use AdventureWorks uh, data warehouse uh, data sets if you haven't uh, installed it it's really good to you know practice uh, take a look into my other video I have uh, you know uh, used uh, I've put how to install up AdventureWorks data warehouse database within your SQL server all right so first uh, what I'm gonna show you is I'm going to uh, merge my product category and product subcategory right I'm just gonna use these two so I'm gonna go to transform data right so in power query this is one of the uh, you know common uh, transformations that you will do uh, you can also do joins uh, within the SQL server uh, and then you know deploy that in your view or in your uh, you know landing table and then use that uh, in your uh, power bi but if you don't do if you're not very good sql if you're not good in sql you can do the transformation in power query itself as well so it's a lot easier in power query to be honest i'll show you right here it's uh, not a big deal right um, all right so now you have brought in two different uh, tables to your power query uh, dim product category and then dim product subcategory right so what's going to happen is like we saw in the other uh, 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 you know uh, this example uh, you need to have a common column right or a joint column or a common field so in this one it's land use code right it's common between both the data sets one and data set two uh, in similar way it, between these two tables right we need to have like a common column right so product category key if you see product category key in this one you see the second data set has product category key when the first data set has a product category key so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join based on the product category key right I wanted to bring in some columns from the subcategory right so if I see here in my product category uh, I have my um, the functional let's just look into the functional columns here instead of the keys uh, I have my product uh, product category name uh, in a Spanish version I have French version I have and that supported right uh, but let's take a look in the subcategory subcategory what I have is product subcategory name right it's a little bit uh, boiled down uh, you know rolled 
or you know what's the right word for that like you know the child level of the product category right i have uh, uh, products of category name uh, and then product uh, no i think that's what i have here i think all right so i wanted to bring my product subcategories to my product table right so which i don't have it right here so i'm going to join uh, this table right with uh, the product category table the product subcategory table is going to be added or joined to the product category table and then i'm going to add in that extra subcategory column to this uh, table here right so for that what i should do here is basically i can go here and uh, say combine right merge queries and then i can say merge query as new or merge queries so i'm, going to, I'm just going to say merge query here because i wanted to uh, show that in the product table right so it's going to ask uh, what is your uh, you know since it's i'm merging it with the existing table it is going to ask the second table i'm going to say my second table is product subcategory right next what you should do is you should basically physically select what is your join column this one product category key from product category key from the first column second sorry from the first table product category key uh, from the second table again product category key right once you're done with that you have a bunch of options for joins right you have your inner join you see it shows the illustration as well on the braces uh, it's going to only give the matching rows from both the tables you can also do like a full outer join you can do like a anti join right anti left anti join right outer join left outer join you know you'll have all of these venn diagrams online so that's not a big deal so in this one i'm just going to show you guys just like for illustration purpose inner join right and then you can also do like a fuzzy join that's really interesting right so fuzzy mapping uh, so uh, if uh, you know the product names are a little bit different uh, let's say uh, uh, instead of you know i have uh, instead of uh, there is a little bit of mismatch within the actual joining columns itself uh, let's say for example instead of one i have zero one right but then in this one if i have one the fuzzy match can pick it up and then it can still think that okay though you have mentioned zero one i think that you are mentioning uh, it's actually one the value of the column is only one so you know what i'm just going to join it so that's basically fuzzy so uh, in this one i'm going to use uh, i'm not going to use fuzzy join so i will uh, you know i'll let you guys play around with that it's not a big deal you just need to select this uh, and then it's going to show the percentage of fuzzy match um, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to select my product category key right in both the tables and then hit okay as soon as you do that what's happening in your uh, you know product product category uh, table um is basically you have two extra columns but they are not actually having any values it's just saying dim product subcategory and then dim product subcategory 1 right uh what are all this what is this right so this is basically sh uh, saying that hey i have brought in the whole table here right i don't know what columns you wanted to add here right to the dim product category table right um like if you see here in this example in the output you can see here it has shown all the four columns it has shown object id land use code again the duplication of from the second table uh, then the land use code type right so in this one uh, it shows all the four right even in this one uh, you can select basically whatever columns that you wanted to add right so it's that amazing it is actually you can just expand the columns that you wanted to add so you can just uncheck it so like i said i was just wanted to bring in my you know english product sub category name right um and then i can also say spanish and french version of those sub category names as well right it's not going to bother so i'm going to hit okay right as soon as i did that the join starts to work so you see all the the product categories are merged or all the uh, english product names product category names or mapped to their sub category names right you see with bikes the first three are bikes right uh, so mountain bikes road bikes touring bikes and then you have components handlebar bottom bottom brackets and things like that so all these category names are now mapped to their sub category names right so um, this is about basically your uh, merge right 
um, uh, one more sorry one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, even there is another uh, subcategory here so why is this coming right so uh, every time it uh, starts to uh, you know do the join uh, it shows you this uh, expansion option that you can choose and you can select whatever you want to select and there is also an aggregate option if you have like for example uh, you know uh, numerical column you can also do that or if you wanted to uh, uh, you know add an aggregation function to an existing column right you see you can adjust it or you can you know you can from some you can change it to average median or min uh, right so you can do all of that with these uh, with these ones and the beauty of that is basically it already identifies the numerical columns uh, you see the product subcategory key is basically like a numerical right one two three though it's uh, logically categorical power bi thinks power query thinks it's numerical so it's showing the uh, aggregation options for that right but for other the product names it's not numerical it's a uh, you know it's a dimension right so it's showing it as like a dimensions here right so uh, that's about merge guys so it's basically what we did is basically we took in the product category table we took in the product subcategory table when to combine hit merge merge as new or merge queries it's not, not a big deal uh, we just add if you say merge as new it's gonna add another table here but at the end of the day you are just adding new columns from your uh, second table to your first table so that your first table becomes a little bit uh, you know uh, expanded basically so that's about merge now let's talk about uh, append all right so for append what's going to happen is uh, like we discussed before uh, there's going to there's going to be two tables right uh, and both of these tables are going to get stacked one on top of the other right so uh, in append what's going to happen is uh, you're going to basically add the number of rows rather than adding the number of columns like in the case of uh, joins or merge right there is also another name for append that's called union uh, you know you can so basically it's the same thing right um, uh, one thing in SQL is what you can do is you can do uh, union and union all uh, so I don't think uh, power BI only does uh, just union it doesn't do union all right so union all is something that it can uh, add up the duplicates also right if uh, both of these tables has a duplicate row uh, just a, a straightforward union or uh, append is going to eliminate that uh, duplicate record but in the case of an SQL you can do union all which is going to add that extra you know duplicated row as well to your output right so that's the difference but in this case it's a straightforward append so what's going to happen is um, so I brought in two tables from SQL server uh, these are tables that I just uh, you know randomly populated just for the illustration purpose so what have we got here uh, alright so we have uh, four different columns course name teacher name my location ID and different values data analytics data science programming and PMP courses and then different teachers and locations like that and then I have my new course uh, same structure right remember we need to have the same structure when you do up and right uh, that's a really important thing so same course name teacher name my location ID but I have different values here so that's what uh, it's gonna be the uh, important piece to note here so I have data mining I have SQL I have R programming and I have my BA training BA book right so now the, my objective is basically to create a new table right and then I need to rename it as a final course right and I need to have all these different uh, records from this table as well as my first table right get uh, it within one table itself so I have four plus four records in one table which is going to be that new table is going to have eight records right let's see how it goes so uh, for uh, append all that you need to do here is go to the combine again say append queries right in this case I'm going to say append queries to new right so it's going to create a new table here so uh, first table is going to be primary table I'm saying primary table is going to be my course right then my secondary table is going to have my my new course both of these tables as we know they have the same schema or same structure so let's hit ok and uh, here you go so you have a new table 
right we can rename it as final course right so this final course table has you know same columns right so a course name teacher name my location id there is not going to be an additional column or a less number of columns it's going to have the same number of columns but it's going to just beef up the number of rows uh, because uh, you're just appending it right so uh, that's what you have here uh, one thing that you need to note here is uh, in my sql server i kept these ids as primary keys since you're appending it it's also you know appending these keys here as well so that's one thing you need to note here uh, yeah so let me know guys uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys today let me know if you have any questions or uh, any um, you no know, comments in the comment section uh, and i'll see you guys in a different video thank you bye